Hello, this is Bob Cook here, and this is a short keynote presentation for all transaction analysis students who have completed their four years of psychotherapy training. And this is a demonstration on how to write, or perhaps more the case, what goes in the Certificate of Transaction Analysis case study, which all TA students are required to complete in their endorsement process for uh, recognition of accreditation by UKCP and the European Association of Transaction Analysis. Okay, so let's look at the overall structure of the case study. Uh, it's an integrated case study made up of sections A, B, C and D. <coughs> integrated in the sense that all those for particular uh, sections needs needs to refer to each one. Um, okay, let's look at section A, um, which is made up of four to five pages. It includes the personal profile of yourself. Um, don't over detail at this particular stage. It's only four or five pages talking about your own history. Um, the profile of how, where you're up to today in your professional uh, life and a little bit about um, yourself in terms of family, education and history etc. Section B um, which is about learnings and reflections from the psychotherapy training. Um, that simply means what you have learned not only professionally but uh, personally throughout the psychotherapy training and it is a time to uh, be able to describe your uh, reflections of your professional growth and of course some of your personal learnings as well. Also in this section uh, you are asked to look at what schools, approaches, models have influenced you uh, that you've learnt in your training uh, to be the psychotherapist you are today, or at least the beginning psychotherapist you are today. Please remember, no more than 9 to 11 pages at this um, juncture. And also please remember that um, section A and B only make up for a small amount of the uh, marks, and the section C and section D make up for most of the actual marks of the case study. So don't spend too much of your time, um, or of the words really, in sections A and B, uh, because you'll need the uh, extra words in the more important sections, in my opinion, in terms of points anyway, or marking, which is section um, C or D. Okay, so <clears throat> section C, which is um, really a case description and analysis of the client that you are presenting in this integrative case study. You'll start off with the historical profile of the client and their developmental history of the client in terms of uh, developmental milestones uh, that the client um, has gone through. Uh, you'll be required in this section to demonstrate um, of how you do psychotherapy Usually, the um, best way to demonstrate to the reader how you do transactionalized psychotherapy is through transcripts. So probably in this section, you'll probably um, demonstrate through transcripts, um, three or four perhaps, on some of the important moments in the psychotherapy treatment with your client. You don't have to use transcripts, but you do need to show um, some of your psychotherapy methodology in this section. Okay, a very important part of this section as well is the diagnosis of your client and how you reached that diagnosis. Um, also included here will be a differential diagnosis and um, this is an important part of this section because it gives the reader a, um, a really good knowledge that you're thinking clinically in diagnostic uh, processes. Okay, and then also in section C at the end is the prognosis, um, where you are in the, the actual treatment of the uh, client, and more importantly, where 
you're planning to go uh, with the client in future treatment planning. And please remember the Section C carries a, a high proportion of marks. Um, in terms of pages, it needs to be about 25 to 30 pages. So it's a substantial section. Um, okay, Section D, which is the fourth section, also carries a large amount of marks and is a, a substantial number of pages usually again 25 to 30 pages I think in this section you need to um, write 6 out of 12 questions uh, which are dictated in this section so it's the theoretical section of the case study you will be able to pick uh, 6 of the questions from I think it's 12 or 13 questions um, there needs to be an integration here and you need to be able to you know show show some integration between section C and D. So when you're asking some of the theoretical questions, you need to link it in to the theory of um, that you showed in section C. Um, okay, it, 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 it's a really the section where you're describing theoretically your clinical practice, um, and it allows you to really show off your clinical thinking and your theoretical stance. Okay, so that needs to be a well thought out section as with the other sections of course, but it's it's more a theoretical uh, process in, in this section. Uh, in terms of reflections, please once again remember it's an integrated case study and that the four sections need to be integrated there needs to be at least 24,000 words, uh, 60 pages or to 65 pages. And um, this type of case take, case study takes some thinking, some time, um, takes quite a lot of writing, quite a lot of uh, um, theoretical thinking as well. And takes most people perhaps, you know, a year to write. Um, so... Good luck. Hope it goes well. I found it a particularly important uh, time in my training where I could put together in a substantial piece of work uh, my psychotherapy methodology, how I did psychotherapy, and also being able to clinically ex describe what I did, um, what's important for me, and... Uh, It'll be a great feeling when you get it back with a good, um, good marks. So, good luck. Bye bye.